Hello? Listen, has Uncle Jatun called recently? No, he hasn't. Why do you ask? Well, uh, don't worry. All right, how is Mother doing? Oh, I think she's okay. She's just resting. Do you want to talk to her? Uh, no, 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 that's okay, let her rest. I'll call later and talk to her. I have to go now. Wait, listen. When are you coming home? Uh, I have something to do, so I'm going to be a little late. I'm going now. thought you weren't coming anymore. Well, it's already too late. It's too late for what? And where are you going now? Back home. We want to leave as soon as possible. But why? Because my dear Lamita has opened my eyes today. She has made me realize that I was, I was living in a world of my own making. As a father, I had a dream. I had a dream where my daughter is happily married. Her mother-in-law, father-in-law, and sister-in-law showered her with love and affection. And my daughter is the perfect wife. But all my dreams of that future have been shattered. Do you even realize how many times she's come to me and said that she's marrying into your family against her wish? She feels like no one cares about her, but all of us just thought that she's She's a, she's a child who doesn't know anything. She's been right from the beginning. What are you talking about, Uncle? This isn't true. Uda, don't lie to me. I know what the truth is. And no one in your family, no one, is willing to accept Lumita as their own. No one cares about her. As for a wedding, you haven't even agreed to this wedding willingly but only under a lot of pressure. It's not like that, Uncle. That's exactly what I also thought, Uday. But today, you have proven to me that all my suspicions were true, and only goodness knows who forced you to come here today. No, Uncle. It's not like that, you're mistaken. I was, I was only... Enough, enough. I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. We have made our decision that we will return to Batinda today. No, Uncle. You can't do this. I am the father of this young girl, Ude. I can't just stand by and watch my daughter die a slow death. We are going back to our homeland today. Will you please forgive me, Lumita? You had to go through a lot of suffering. All because of me and my friends. Let's go, Lumita. Uncle. Uncle, no. Please, I won't let you go. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Believe me. I'm not just marrying her because I have to. I have no objection to this wedding. I don't trust a single person in your family anymore, Uday. And I don't believe you. Uncle, you'll have to trust me just this once. You'll have to believe that Lamita will be very happy with me and my family. I agree that I was late for our appointment. But please don't mistake us or misunderstand our intentions. You have no idea. Uncle Ranbir and my mother have made plans for my, I mean, they have planned a lot for Lemita and my wedding. I agree with you that initially no one liked it when this marriage was fixed. But today, today all my family members want Lemita and myself to spend our lives together. Uncle, how? How can I convince you? 